and talk to them about what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, and then what to do in the event that somebody asks them for something that they shouldn't be asked for. As new social media apps get introduced, criminals are finding ways to avoid detection. New evidence submitted in Cass County District Court shows a growing concern among law enforcement that sexual predators are getting more skillful in preying on kids. Valley News Team's Joshua Pagaro explains what has police worried. Social media can be a tool for good by allowing parents to track their kids every move. But there's also a dark side, and a recent Fargo police investigation shows how predators are spinning a web to lure kids into their trap. Evidence submitted for at least three different cases in Cass County shines a light on how social media is being used to get nude photos from underage women and also to arrange payment. A 16-year-old Fargo girl was recently caught sending photos to a 26-year-old man living in Leeds, North Dakota. Police say the suspect paid her $1,800 using an app that allows you to instantly transfer money to a person's bank account. The teen was able to avoid detection from adults by constantly changing her social media passwords, according to police. You can't control what happens with those photos once you send them out and how they could be used. Um, and the possession or um, distribution of such type of photos is a felony in the state of North Dakota. The Fargo Police Department has been proactive in bridging the information gap among parents and teens. You know, what's popular today might not be popular next month. So it's really important to make sure that we're protecting our kids and it's important to us that that way we can reduce the chance of them being victims. Case in point, Fargo police arrested Jason Dvorak at a gas station parking lot for having an 8-year-old girl send them nude photos. In West Fargo, a 16-year-old girl told her parents she was being harassed by a man on Snapchat for sex and nude photos. Police say the biggest challenge is that as technology changes, so are criminals and their tactics. The struggle is trying to stay a step ahead. In Fargo, Joshua Piguero, Valley News Live. Police say a person who sends or receives nude photos can face sexual extortion or obscenity charges, which are felonies.